we're told that the radius of a sphere can be measured using the formula r is equal to the cube root of 3 times v divided by 4 pi, where v is equal to the volume. That's interesting. Normally, you have it expressed the other way, volume as a function of radius. Here, they have radius as a function of volume. If the radius of a sphere is 6 inches, so they're giving us the radius. They're saying it's 6 inches, so they're giving us that right there. What is its volume? So we have 6 inches, everything's in inches, is equal to the cube root is equal to the cube root of 3 times the volume, that's what we need to solve for, divided by 4 pi. A good first step to get rid of this cube root is take, take the cube of both sides, or raise both sides of this equation to the third power. So you had 6 inches, you raise it to the third power. You have the cube root of 3v over 4 pi, raise it to the third power. And so the left-hand side of this equation becomes what? 6 times 6 is 36. 36 times 6 is 180, plus 36 is 216. So you have 216. And you had 6 inches here. Now that you're cubing it, it would actually now become 216 cubic inches, or inches cubed, is equal to, is equal to the, if you take the 3v divided by 4 pi, the cube root is essentially taking it to the 1 third power, and then take that to the third power, they unwind each other. And so this just becomes 3v over 4 pi. Now to solve for volume, we can just multiply both sides of this equation times the, the, the inverse of its coefficient, times 4 pi over 3. Times, let me scroll up to the left, times 4 pi over 3. Let me make sure you can see what I'm writing. And the whole reason why I'm multiplying by 4 pi over 3 is so that it cancels out with a 3 over 4 pi. And you have your 4 pi cancels out with a 4 pi. And then you have your 3 canceling out with the 3. And then you have your volume is going to be equal to 4 pi times 216 over 3. So you have, we could write it this way, 216, 216 times 4 pi times 4 pi over 3. And we could simplify this. 216, the digits add up to 2 plus 1 plus 6 is 9. So it will be divisible by 3. That's a fast way to test whether something's divisible by 3. So let's see what it is. 3 goes into 216. 3 goes into 216. 3 goes into 21 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. Bring down the 6. You have no remainder. So bring down the 6. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. No remainder. So it's 72. So 216 divided by 3 is 72. So it's 72 times 4 pi is equal to the volume. It's going to be in cubic inches. So 4 times 72. 4 times 70 is 280. And then you have 4 times 2, which is 8. So it'll be 288 pi cubic inches. That's our volume. And we're done.